Good afternoon, sir. My name is Michelle Nigam. I am from College of Veterinary Science and Animal Husbandry. My department, department of PPT, my department of Microbiology. Ka. Topic is my fluorescent antibody techniques. Submitted to Dr. Rajay Rajpal Divakar, sir. Submitted by Vaishali Nigam. ID. Wait. My content is introduction, fluorescent antibody, and its working. Second topic is five type of fat, type of fluorescent antibody techniques. And third ka hai comparison direct and indirect. Third fourth hai antigen and antibody. Or fifth hai principle and application. Mera pehla hai working of fluorescent antibody and introduction hai. To pehla hai when label antibody is included with rabies suspected we suspect the brain tissue it will bind to rabies antigen and unborn antibody can be washed um, away and uh, area is where antigen is present can be visualized as fluorescent apple green area so using a fluorescent microscope if rabies viruses is absent there will be no staining. Fluorescent molecules are used as substitutes for rabiostop or enzymes labels. The fluorescent antibody techniques consist of labeling antibody with dyes such as fluorescent fluorescence isothiocyanate और मेरा इंट्रोडक्शन है फ्लोरसेंट एंटीबॉडी क्या होता है हम इसके बारे में बात करेंगे डायरेक्ट दो टाइप के होते हैं डायरेक्ट एंड इनडायरेक्ट डायरेक्ट द डायरेक्ट फ्लोरसेंट एंटीबॉडी टेस्ट इज यूज्ड टू डिटेक्ट द लोकेटेड लोकलाइज एंटीजन इन द पेशेंट द टिश्यू सैंपल टू बी टेस्टेड टेस्टेड इज ट्रीटेड विद Antibodies against that particular antigen that have been labeled with a fluorescent day dye. If the antigen is present in the tissue, the fluorescent labeled antibody will bind the and their binding can be detected with a fluorescent microscope. Variants of the test are used to diagnose. Diagnosed dispiratory sinusitis virus, hepatitis simplex one and two, and pneumocytes infections. Ab indirect hai. indirect mein. The indirect fluorescent antibody test is used to detect pathogen specific antibody in the patient. In this case, a laboratory generated sample of if infected tissue is mixed with serum from other patient. A fluorescent anti dye labeled anti immunoglobin raised in animal is then added. If binding of antibody from the patient to the tissue sample occurs, uh, then, then the fluorescent antibody can be bound and fluorescence can be detected in the tissue by microscopy. This technique is used to detect anti nuclear antibodies, anti double standard DNA antibodies, anti thyroid antibodies, anti Antiglomerular basement membrane antibodies and anti epsilon strain bar virus viral capsid antigen antibody. Immunofluorescence. 
डायरेक्ट एंड इनडायरेक्ट दो टाइप के होते हैं प्रूफ डायरेक्ट क्या होता है प्रूफ ऑफ एंटीजन और इनडायरेक्ट होता है प्रूफ ऑफ एंटीबॉडीज स्लाइड टेस्टिंग प्रोसेस ऑफ डायरेक्ट एंड इनडायरेक्ट ये स्लाइड टेस्टिंग के टाइम में दिखता है ऐसा प्राइमरी एंटीबॉडी और डायरेक्ट इनफ्लो इम्यूनोफ्लोरेंसिस ग्रुप ए स्टेप्टोकोकलाई फ्रॉम पेशेंट थ्रोट और प्लस फ्रोसेंट डाई लेबल्ड एंटीबॉडीज टू ग्रुप आस स्टेप्टोकोकाई देन फ्रोसेंट स्टेप्टोकोकाई रिलेशन इन अ पॉजिटिव डायरेक्ट फ्रोसेंट एंटीबॉडी टेस्ट डायरेक्ट इम्यूनोफ्लोरेंस अनेबल एंड और फ्रोसेंट एप टू टिश्यू इज ए बी टू टिश्यू इज ए जी इज इज अनेबल्ड प्रोसेंट लेबल्ड एंटीजन एंटी आई जी इज यूज टू डायरेक्ट बाइंडिंग ऑफ द फर्स्ट इनडायरेक्ट फर्स्ट इन फॉर इन नो फॉरसेंस प्रिंसिपल ऑफ एप्लीकेशन of fat immunofluorescence principles immunofluorescence utilizes the specific specificity of antibodies the with fluorescent dyes to recognize their antigen and there allow the visualization of the distribution of the target molecule through fluorescent dyes with a fluorescent microscope application use fluorescent dye conjugated secondary antibodies provide a tool uh, for an identifying protein in many application including fluorescent cell imaging western blotting immuno um, immunohistochemistry and etc thank you